we saw the equilibrium involving the dissolution of solid in liquid now we see the the dissolution of of gases in liquids okay so solids in liquids we just did now it is gases in liquids right so this we did this we are doing now the the most common example to understand from is is any soft drink any carbonated drink that you come across okay you must have seen a peculiar phenomena there that the moment you open the cap hmm, the moment you open the cap immediately it will start fizzing okay and with a hissing sound some gas comes out okay some gas comes out there's another thing you'll you'll mark about it is is the bottle when you bring it is abnormally abnormally hard right it's abnormally hard it's quite unlike any other bottle that you come across maybe any water bottle you'll be able to squeeze it a bit not in this case right you'll not be even able to deshape it no why do why are you able to maybe deshape a wa uh, water bottle because water itself is incompressible but if you if you try to press it somehow it becomes an oblong kind of thing right so the cross sectional area changes maybe the volume of water that you see the height of water that rises a bit and you are able to deshape it but if you hold a uh, an absolutely a brand new pack of a carbonated drink you will not be able to deshape it okay try doing it the next time you come across an unopened bottle the bottle which is yet to be opened okay and the moment you you release the cap you you try to open the cap immediately with a fizz with a fizz some gas comes out if you if you do it a bit too quickly then what happens even the liquid comes out but that comes out along with the gas okay and then you again maybe keep it closed after some time you will find the bottle again becoming taut a, a very hard right after some time you will find that and then you again open it it will open with a slight hiss sound right okay fine or or if you leave it open for a long time then the whole fizz that you uh, the 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 kind of uh, uh, the the fizz i should say the fizz or the twang of the carbonated drink goes away no this sudden uh, sudden pungency i'll not say pungency it kind of kind of hits your taste buds right sharp hit right that misses when it is opened and and you say it has gone bland or it has gone flat right it's like sugar water hmm yeah it's it's like like any other uh, sugar in water right so so what happens so so uh, and, and if you have come across say discovery channel uh, in mega factories they they show show a uh, coca cola bottling plant and and they'll tell you two things that uh, these uh, the carbon dioxide has to has to be compressed so so it has to be compressed and and uh, packed the bottle and the temperature is kept quite quite low it is absolutely chilled when it is being put in okay we'll come to that later but the part that you have to increase the pressure has to do with the solubility of the gases in liquids okay so what do we find the gases are more soluble gases are more soluble 
in liquids at higher pressures. At higher pressures, okay? And, and if you reduce the pressure, the gas is bound to come out of the liquid into the, into the atmosphere, right? Also, also the solubility of the gas decreases as you increase the temperature, okay? If you, if you heat it up, the gas will get ejected out. Maybe you, you take the, the same carbonated drink and boil it, okay? Everything will be gone. All the carbon dioxide will get ejected out and that, that sharpness of the taste will, will vanish, right? So, also that the gases are, the first thing is that and the second is less soluble in liquids at higher temperatures. Okay. This is so much so that, so that there is, there is a law on the first observation that we have seen and that is called Henry's law. That is called Henry's law. Okay. What does it say? It says that the mass of a gas which can be dissolved in a liquid at any given fixed temperature is directly proportional to the pressure of the gas above the liquid. Understand? Okay, so, so it says that the mass of gas dissolved in a dissolved in a liquid at a given pressure at a given pressure at a given temperature sorry given temperature is directly proportional to is directly pro proportional to the pressure of the gas, the pressure of the gas above the liquid. Okay. Fine. Now here gas is actually the solute, right? And the liquid is the solvent, correct? Whichever is, is greater in quantity, we normally term it as solvent and the other as solute. Fine. So, so you can say that the mass of the solute in the form of a gas dissolved in a liquid is directly proportional to the pressure of the gas above the liquid or the solvent, right? It could be any solvent, okay? Could be any solvent, not necessarily water. Though primarily you will be concerned with gases getting dissolved into, into water, right? We also know that the solubility of the solvent, solubility of solute is inversely proportional to the temperature, okay? Or, or it decreases with the temperature, decreases, don't, don't write it that way, decreases with temperature. Decreases with increasing the pressure. Yeah. Hmm. 
if nothing is written here then it hmm. normally means increase with increase in temperature but to be precise freeze in temperature okay fine this will be dealt with some detail with with a lot of detail in class 12th so i'm not going into that currently but but it has got a, a big big application when you will be doing solutions of class 12th right